Hello, everybody. This is Dr. John Pitts of the Centennial Shelves Clinic, where we lead and invented much of the field of interventional orthopedics and regenerative medicine, meaning we treat musculoskeletal and orthopedic problems with injections of your own healing factors to get your body heal itself, rather than to rely on drugs and surgeries that have lots of risk. So one of the most common things that uh, we maybe see and treat is carpal tunnel syndrome. And I'd like to talk about that today. What is it? What are the treatment options? And how can we use PRP or platelet-rich plasma to potentially help uh, this problem instead of the traditional approaches? So first, uh, we talk about carpal tunnel. We're talking about in the wrist here. So in the wrist, there's a nerve called the median nerve that goes through this carpal tunnel is called that has other tendons and is covered on top by a transverse carpal ligament, a tight band, and at the bottom, their bones, the carpal bones. Um, and so when you bend the wrist a lot, work with your hands a lot uh, from various problems, the nerve inside that carpal tunnel can get irritated. And when that nerve is getting irritated, it gets squished. The blood supply to it can uh, decrease, and so that uh, nerve can get irritated or injured. And so it will lose the protective covering around it that helps the nerve to transmit signals, and it can cause some problems. And so uh, typically the type of problems it would cause would be numbness or tingling in the hand or fingers. It can happen at night or with activity. Um, it can cause pain in those areas in the wrist or down through the fingers. Uh, and when it gets really bad, it can get uh, numbness, uh, not only numbness, but weakness in the hands. And you maybe get even atrophy or smaller size of the muscles because the nerve is getting that damaged. Uh, to diagnose this, um, you can take a good history from a patient and do some exam skills. Um, here in our clinic, we ultrasound every person that comes in. So we can actually look at the nerve directly and we can look to see if it's swollen and compare it to the other side, uh, a normal side, and take measurements to see. And there's also a nerve conduction study where uh, they send electrical signals to the nerve and record that information to see how well the nerve is functioning. So if you do have this diagnosis, usually the first step is trying to avoid the positions in the daytime that have the wrist bent. And at nighttime, wearing a brace for about six weeks to see if we keep your hand in neutral to take pressure off that nerve to see if it can heal up. When things are very mild, uh, these conservative measures can help along with maybe some physical therapy or occupational therapy. When those things fail, uh, traditional doctors will inject the area with steroids with the idea of just reducing some of the inflammation around the nerve. Uh, we stopped using steroids a long time ago because steroids have many, many drug side effects. Uh, it can cause uh, atrophy of the tendons that are close by to that nerve as well. Uh, and so we, we don't recommend that, but that is one treatment option that sometimes can help. And then when things are really bad um, or that's not working, then there's a surgery where either they cut you open and cut that ligament on the top part of the tunnel, or they can use a little scope and cut that ligament to open up some space. Um, and so that can help in, uh, you know, two thirds to 75% of patients, but uh, surgery is always bigger risk. So that means a higher risk of nerve injury or nerve damage, uh, risk of infection, risk of causing some more problems, which typically means making the entire wrist more unstable because that ligament is there for a reason. And when you cut it, you may lead uh, to arthritis and other wrist areas or the CMC joint. Dr. Schultz did an excellent recent blog on the CMC joint arthritis and having carpal tunnel surgery can contribute to that. So um, I encourage you to read that blog as well, uh, but that can lead into that having this type of surgery. So what are the other alternatives? Other alternatives would be using platelet-rich plasma or PRP. And so uh, PRP uh, can be used and injected around the nerve under ultrasound guidance to put growth factors around the nerve to naturally try to reduce swelling uh, and help with the healing. Now, most clinics have a bedside machine that uh, spin your blood down to get the platelets out, uh, but we have an advanced lab here at the Centennial Shelves Clinic where we can not only just get the blood platelets out, but we can open up those platelets and get the growth factors out, and that's called platelet lysate. That has the advantages of this. It's less inflammatory around the nerve, and those growth factors have uh, basic science research that it can help nerve regeneration. Uh, and so that's what we use because that is a safer, easier, uh, and more effective around nerves than a traditional PRP. Uh, but these things do have evidence that they can help and avoid surgery. Uh, only when the thumb muscle is severely atrophied do you need to go the surgical route. Typically, if we get things where they're mild to moderate before it gets too severe, 
then doing that PRP nerve hydrodissection can really help. Uh, we have a nice video that shows how we perform this uh, procedure under ultrasound guidance on our website as well. We'll put that link. I uh, also have a good procedure showing how we treat that thumb joint arthritis that can be caused after carpal tunnel surgery and other reasons uh, on our website as well. Um, and so just to show you what I mean, um, so if we're in that carpal tunnel, this is our nerve. Um, this will be the ligament on top of it, the transverse carpal ligament that's cut during surgery. There'll be other tendons around that nerve and at the bottom, there'll be the bones, okay? Um, and so what we would do is on the ultrasound guidance, got a very tiny needle and inject right outside the nerve. And it serves two purposes. The fluid itself can help loosen the nerve from the tight tissue around it. And then in that fluid is that platelet lysate or those growth factors from the PRP that help to stimulate the nerve to repair and reduce inflammation. Um, this is opposed to just cutting this ligament out, which then makes the bones around that ligament more unstable. And so that can lead to wrist arthritis, thumb joint arthritis, other problems. And again, a big surgery uh, has more risk than a little bitty tiny needle. So our goal here at the Centennial Schultz Clinic is to try to treat you before they get to severe enough for needing surgery, avoiding drugs like steroid injections, which may help temporarily, but do have some potential long-term consequences or don't help address the underlying issue. So if you or anyone else you know has this problem with carpal tunnel syndrome or any other muscle skeletal problem and want to avoid drugs and surgery and get your body healed itself, we're the experts and leaders in that. So please give us a call and see if you're a candidate for any treatments. You guys take care.